What is up, everyone? Wacka here, welcoming you for the week 10 of the WPF Magic Carp League Season 8. Um, today we are facing Sean's replacement coach, Wailing Pen. Um, and his team consists of Mega Steelix, uh, which used to be Mega Glade Jinx, or not Glade, Mega Glalie Jinx, Clefable, Galarian Zapdos, Venomoth, and. Uh, Zerud. Uh, and we're supporting Metagross, Torn, Scrappy, Electros, Mega Garchomp, and Alcree. Uh, so let's get started. I figured he might lead um, Zapdos, and if he was, I would be able to bait, like, I would be able to tell what his item is, like, immediately. Because if he outspeeds me, he's Scarf. If he doesn't, he's probably Banded or whatever item it is, but. Either way, like, if it's not Scarfed, it loses to, uh, Torn late game. So, I decided to leave with Torn, as he actually leads for Venomoth, and he's gonna realize he needs to switch out into, like, Steelix or Jinx, and luckily he goes Steelix. I just Air Slash, and this is a surprising amount of, amount of damage. Uh, so I just U-turn out, knowing that Steelix can probably one-shot me, if not do way too much damage. Uh, as he opts to click Stone Edge, which Scrappy does pretty well against. Um, here I click Knockoff, predicting like something to switch in. Hope I was hoping Gal uh, Galarian Zapdos would switch in, I'd be able to knock off its Scarf. Um, but he opts to stay in on Venomoth, and um, he gets up a bunch of Toxic Spikes, so I decide to Defog. Um, it was kind of just a T-Spikes war at this point, and um, I was I figured he was going to get at least one layer of Toxic Spikes up. Um, so I just decided to kill the Venomoth, and maybe hopefully I could get Torn into um, click, not, uh, click Defog at some point. So I kind of have to sack Scrappy to the Toxic Poisoning. Um, I figured most of my team doesn't really care if it's Toxic Poison, like, most of them levitate or they're steel. Um, as he's actually Curse Steelix, which really scares me, um, as I really can't touch the Steelix because I have so many, like, special attackers. Um, and the funny thing is, I should have brought, like, Earth Power on Garchomp at least. Um, but for some reason I decided to not. Um, so here I just kind of have to sack off Garchomp. Um, and I believe he actually opts to switch. No, he actually kills off the Alcreamy as I Mystical Fire, hoping it would, like, kill or crit him. Um, sadly it doesn't, and he gets to just kill Alcreamy. Um, at this point, I kind of figure that I kind of lose unless I can kill the um, Clef that's about to wish pass into the Steelix. Um, I think I just U-turned on Clef into Metagross. Yeah. And he opts to Flamethrower, predicting that I would probably switch into Metagross. Um, and now he, I believe... Oh, he goes as a rude for some reason. I think he predicted to me, predicted me to go for like Zen Hepa or like something like that, um, or just sack Zerud because I don't know. Zerud just doesn't seem very good in this matchup. But um, he goes back in the cleft. Um, I opt to just defog with Torn for some for some reason. I don't know why because. My only mom that can be poisoned right now is Scrafty, and it's already poisoned, so I have no idea why I opted to defog. Um, so he actually wish passes into Steelix, which means basically I lose if I don't crit him. Uh, luckily, um, as he goes for the curse, I actually crit him after this. Um, luckily, because I think this thing has Earthquake. It has to have Earthquake for Metagross, otherwise it kind of just loses Metagross. Um, so he goes back into Zeru and I go Electros because I don't know how much um, Torn's going to take and I don't know if he's just going to click like 
a fighting move for Scrafty. Um, so here I should have knocked, but I thought he would probably go into Clefable. Um, which is probably the biggest misplay of this battle, because if I had knocked, um, the Zapdos couldn't sweep me later on. So now I have to kind of lose to Zapdos, because I don't know how I'm going to get into Scrafty to knock off anymore. Uh, so I just decided to sack off the Electros. Electros didn't really do too much in the battle, um, because I... Um, he didn't bring Blastoise, so I didn't really care to keep Electros around. I kind of just had it as a sack if I needed it. Um, and at least got off a knock. Um, it would have been funny if I was, like, Scarf Knock, though. So anyways, um... I go Metagross, and then I hard switch into Scrafty, thinking maybe he'll go back into, like, Zarude. Um... And I was really hoping he'd just go Zapdos at that point, and so I can knock him off. But he goes into Zerud, and now I kind of have to let him kill me off. Um, so now what I have to do is I believe yeah I went Torn, and then I clicked Air Slash, and I believe he flinched. No, he didn't flinch. But he got an Acrobatics crit, which I don't think super mattered. And now. Um, he sacks off his Clef on the switch in. And for some reason, now he's going Jinx. I think if he just went Zapdos, he would have won. I think he was worried that Metagross was banded. Um, yeah, he was super worried that Zapdos was... Uh, or that Metagross was banded. And I actually kind of predicted him to switch back in, I believe. No, I went for Bullet Punch, because I knew if I um, let Zerud attack, attack me, I could basically lose. Um, in hindsight, I should have maybe just clicked, like, Ice Punch. Because either way, Torn would have gotten a kill. But, you know, I think we kind of just threw out the end. If I'd knocked off its Scarf with the Scrafty... Um, this would have been a winning game, but, you know, sometimes you misplay, and at least, at least, um, we didn't lose by that much. Like, Zapdos would have probably killed itself to recoil, um, or if it was knocked, it just would have lost to Torn in general. Um, so that's unfortunate, but GG's to Wailing Pen. He played pretty well, and considering he was smart enough to just bring, like, Curse... Steelix against me was he should have probably won like 5-0, 6 even um, because I had no answers to the Steelix but since I crit it, uh, it dies in hindsight I should have brought like Earth Power Garchomp um, because at least Earth Power could have like hit it harder even if that meant like Clef would wall it harder, I had other ways of dealing with Clef, you know but it, I don't know, it just wasn't the best prep. Um, hopefully we face off in, um, I no, I don't think he actually made playoffs. I believe he lost to my week 11 opponent, which meant he couldn't make playoffs anymore, which is unfortunate because his team's really cool and I believe it was rated pretty high as I believe Zapdos was like a tier two for God knows why. Um, but he has a very balanced and strong team. Even Venomoth, like, does work as a tier 5 with, like, the Tinted Lens spec set. Uh, Life Orb, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Next week, I believe we face Dolphin, and I think I already have the match recorded. I just have to upload the last three weeks, and I will see you guys next week.